Hi, we are going to show you how to make raw strawberry fruit by the foot. Um, this is something the kids love. I love it. I would eat the whole thing in one sitting if, if uh, Regal would let me. But um, it's super delicious and it's a raw fruit by the foot. So what I have in here is I have one and a half containers of strawberries. Um, I prepared most of them early because it's just time consuming. So what we do is we cut off the top and then slice them. And the only reason why I slice them is so that we can fit more in the food processor. You can throw them in whole if you're making a smaller batch, but we're making a large batch. And so that's why we slice them. So I'm going to slice up the rest of these. Now this can get expensive if strawberries aren't on sale, but whenever strawberries are in season and you get them on sale, you want to buy them up and make fruit roll-ups. They are the best. One time Winco had strawberries on sale for 47 cents a container, a one pound container. I bought so many. They were delicious. We had strawberry pancakes, we had fruit roll-ups, we dehydrated chunks and put them in granola. It was just awesome. We loved it. Can't wait for that to happen again. And now I'm going to put a half a cup of raw sugar. Um, you can use coconut sugar if you prefer. You can leave the sugar out if you prefer. The sugar helps break down the strawberries into a real nice cream and that's why I use it. Um, then I'm going to add the juice of one whole orange. So that's half the orange. So juice of one whole orange and then I'm going to put the juice of a half a lemon. This lemon is huge. It came off a tree, actually my pastor's tree. It's humongous. But I love lemon and all of us do. So I would normally suggest a normal sized lemon but this is what we have. And I'm going to go ahead and put the juice of the whole big half a lemon in there because we love, 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 love lemon. Alright. And now I'm just going to put the lid on and process it until it turns into a cream. Go ahead and process it. take a dehydrator sheet and what I'm going to do because this is very full and I'm a little nervous that if I pull it off of here it'll seep down the middle so I am going to just put the first one like this I'm going to put about a cup and a half you can put a cup and a half maybe two cups on the sheet and then just even it out. Sometimes there will be a chunk of strawberry left in there. You just take the chunk out. I typically make these squares. This recipe usually will make three to four trays.
you want it to be pretty thin but without any spots where there's holes all right and then what we'll do is we will put this in the dehydrator at 115 degrees for about uh, eight hours I'm thinking about eight hours and we'll be back with the finished product all right so this is the final product this is the strawberry fruit roll-up it's still on very stuck to the paper so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I pull it off and wrap it up what I do is I just grab the corner and it peels right off now the easiest way to do this is to put it upside down uh, back onto the um, Teflex sheet or whatever you're using. And then I take a piece of cling wrap and I just lay the cling wrap on. I press it down. Then I Flip it, fold in the ends, and then I roll it. So we will roll it now. This took about um, 8 to 10 hours in the dehydrator at 115 degrees. Once I have this big long fruit roll up, can you see the whole thing? Okay, once I have this big long fruit roll up, then what I usually do is I take a knife and I start cutting it into the size like a um, fruit by the foot. So I usually cut it in half and then each half I'll cut into four and so each one makes about eight roll-ups. If I let the kids they would eat every one of these the moment they came out. So you really gotta limit, you probably want a sharper knife. You really want to limit um, limit them, but they it's really it's a really good snack for traveling or um, in their lunch box. I like to put these in their lunch box, and I'll show you how they unravel. This is one of the end pieces. The end pieces um, tend to not be as straight. This one will come off perfectly straight just like a fruit roll up so what I'd like to do is I'll go through and I'll eat the end piece and there's your raw fruit by the foot 